What's going on guys? It's DJ Spinda and today we're bringing you a brand new type of video. We're bringing you a how-to or a tutorial if you want to call it that. And the how-to today is going to be how to download ROM emulators and ROM files. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you're always going to want to do is you're going to want to, because we're going to use this for everything, whether it's DS, whether it's Game Boy Advance, we're going to use this all the time, and that's WinRAR. It's totally free, super easy to get, and I'll show you that right now. You just win search uh, WinRAR download in whatever browser you use, and may I remind you, this is only for Windows that I'm showing this for. Um, it's different if you're doing it on a Mac or whatever else. Um, and you just, it'll pop up like this. You hit go to download, and because I've already downloaded it, it'll, I'm not going to show you that I'm not gonna download it again but you want to get the 64-bit type right there um, and then just click that English uh, tab there and it'll just uh, well I'll show you that at least when you click on the English tab it brings you to this download page and you just hit download Win WinRAR and it'll download it as an EXE you don't have to do anything else with it so that's uh, pretty simple for WinRAR now that you have WinRAR we are going to download the emulator so to find uh, a ROM emulator we'll just go with a GBA emulator search it and uh, you can get, uh, well, I mean, there's different links. There's, it all takes you to the same place. But I'll, I will click on this one just to show you guys. Um, when you click on that, it says choose a platform you want to emulate on. And obviously we're doing Windows, but it does have all of these different things. And, and it'll be different. Uh, and I'll show you some in, in a different video if you guys want me to of uh, how to do it with Android and, and just on your phone and stuff. So uh, we're going to do it for Windows for this particular one. And you're going to want to do... Visual Boy Advance, right down here, this guy right here. Just say Visual Boy Advance. I will put links in the description of this video too, so you guys, it'll, everything will just kind of be a click away. And then it'll download as a WinRAR file automatically if you already have WinRAR, WinRAR installed. Sorry, tough word to say. Once you get that emulator done, we are going to switch over to our desktop window here, so you guys can see that. All right, we'll bring that back down. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to uh, hit this little arrow here on any download. It's just super easy to do it this way, and this is the way I do it. Show in folder, okay? It'll show you where it's at, and I just kind of look and see, oh, it's in downloads, and that's where it's always going to go, but that way you don't have to search for it or anything. It's just, it takes you right to it. So with that popped up, we are going to bring that to our desktop just to work on it there, okay? Then you're going to open it up, and you'll see all this stuff here. Um, and this will, something will always pop up with WinRAR, but it's a free program, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just close any of that stuff out and use it for free however you want. Um, the important thing out of all of this is literally this Visual Boy Advanced EXE. That's the application file. Um, this is configuration and settings, which is open, decent, but I mean, it's not super necessary. And then you got two text documents that are also aren't necessary, but I like to uh, bring it all onto my desktop. So with this selected like this, you just hit the Extract To button. And this is what you'll do for pretty much everything else you do. And just extract it straight to your desktop. You can move it wherever you want, make new folders, whatever else, after the fact. But we're going to do that right now. Uh, put it on our desktop for simplicity's sake. We'll close that out. Everything's right here. Here's those text files, and then here's that information file. What you can do is you can just file, you know, uh, right-click, make a new folder, and we'll just name it uh, GBA for visual or actually it could be vba but we'll just make it gba for whatever we'll drop that in there and then we'll just highlight all these buggers here and we'll drop them all in there and as you can see the the uh application files got this little gba thing so when you open that up boom you got your your visual boy opening and actually i think this is a a updated version of it so i might keep this on actually because i like the look of it um i think it's an updated version which is cool um okay so we got that now and that is your emulator. That's all you need to do for the emulator. Now, to do the ROM, that's a little bit trickier because ROMs I used to be able to find on this website, MU Paradise, but Nintendo has removed a ton of their emulated games on here. Um, it's really hard to find downloads for it. So what I end up doing now, say, let's just for, for this tutorial sake, we'll do Fire Red. Fire Red ROM. Okay. Search Fire Red ROM, and what I do is I click on the Videos tab and try to find a YouTube video that's fairly recent. Like, this one's February of 2017, August 2017. Um, try to find something that's fairly newish, um, so that way you can... Um, we'll just click on this one, and I'll show you. Okay, so you got your video here. Shout out to iPlex for uh, helping me out here. Um, <laughs> you hit down, and you see these different links here. 
one thing you're going to want to look for for ROMs is you're going to want to see media fire. Media fire or like, um, I don't know if it would be considered ad fly or anything. I think ad fly might be a part of it, but media fire is a really good one. Or if it's like a Google one and you have a, a Gmail, that works too. But media fire is one of my favorite links to use for Windows just because it's usually the easiest, it's the simplest, and it works every time. It'll open up a page like this, you're on Mediafire, and all Mediafire is, it's not a sketchy website or anything, it's literally just a place to drop a file onto that's, that's accessible to the whole world. Um, and that's exactly what this is. So you're just going to want to download, it's Pokemon Fire Red version 1.0, cleaned, um, and you just hit that download, brings it on down there. As you can see, it's coming up as a GBA file, which is clutch. We like it that way. Once it's downloaded, I don't know what this is. Um, that's, that's a pop-up. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Um, what you want to do is you click on that arrow once again, show in folder, and there she is right there. And that is your, that is your ROM. Um, so we'll bring that also onto the desktop. You do not need to extract this one, which is nice. Um, and because I like I already linked mine with the GBA program so That's why it shows the GBA thing yours might just show a little file a little like piece of paper kind of thing Which is okay, too. All that means is you have to open open it through visual boy for me I can just double click right on it and it'll open the game up So I'll show you how I'll just drop it in here. So it's in here. Um, I'll show you the way you would have to do it um, you just open up your your visual boy and then you do file and then you're gonna want to open, uh, you know, that's game. This one does Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. So you're gonna open GBA, and it'll bring you to where your files are. Well, mine automatically brought me to the GBA folder on my desktop, which is perfect. And you want to open up Pokemon Fire Red version one. You just click on it, hit open, and it'll start playing the game. It's as simple as that, guys. And that's how I do all my GBA games. Um, so if you have any questions or if something didn't work for you, go ahead and comment below and let me know, and I will try my best to answer you as quickly as possible. And we're going to close that because that's really loud. But yeah, so, um, and then also I'll mention while I'm looking at it, once you open up a game in here, it will actually put a save file just like this. So um, I have that save file. If I were to say delete or accidentally delete this, this ROM, I could re-download that ROM again and then open up my Visual Boy and open up that save file. But that's something we'll show in a different video if you want it. Um, one thing I'll show you real quick before we close out of this video. Um, if you want to find a DS emulator, you can find it on MU Paradise also. Uh, let's see, DS emulator. We'll just search it. Um, MU Paradise. Look at that, and it's four windows. Perfect. Okay, so for this, the one that I like the best is the the DS uh, DS Sumi or however you say it. I'm probably butchering that. And you download that exactly the same way you do anything else. And you would search your well. Let's just make a new tab here. You would search your games the same way. Say you wanted to find Pokemon uh, Platinum, and we'll go ROM. And you'll want to search it through videos and find a video that works for you. And, and it's going to be a little trial and error. And that's unfortunately, that's the way it is nowadays with uh, Nintendo removing a lot of those ROMs on there. But it all works exactly the same. And again, this is only for Windows, only on PC. It does not work on your phone. For Android, it does not work on Macs. If you have a MacBook, this will not work this way. It'll be different. It'll be similar, but it'll be different. And, uh, yeah, so that is how I download my GBA ROMs to play these games. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a little thumbs up down below. Show your support because it's so greatly appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever else. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you don't miss a single DJ Spin episode. And, as always, that's it.